Sorry, your family travels every day to get to work or school on at least one of them. But dozens of Bay Area roads are downright hazardous to drive on. Our I-team has been looking at which ones are the most dangerous. And our Brenda McLaughlin shows us why you might now think twice about your commute. Tampa Road and US-19 in North Pinellas County looks like any other major crossroad in the Bay Area until you notice the billboards and the driving habits. Sometimes it's two or three or several a day. More injury crashes occur along this portion of US-19 than anywhere else in Pinellas or Hillsborough County. Kevin Gallant fixes engines, not fenders. Check this out here. At his auto repair shop on the corner of Tampa Road, He's so disgusted by what he sees every day that he lets a state trooper use his property to pull over drivers and write up tickets. The guy can't even put his car in park by the time he's pulling out getting another one. An I-Team review of accident records shows 86 crashes at Tampa Road in US-19 in 2012 alone, resulting in 47 injuries. Three of the five Bay Area intersections with the most crashes were in Palm Harbor. The reality of it is it's probably not the intersection, it's the road itself. The majority of our calls are not to the intersection. Palm Harbor Fire Rescue says US-19 keeps them busy, and the main reason is simple. Most of our accidents are primarily due to distracted drivers, someone with a cell phone, GPS. In Tampa, where Mayor Bob Buckhorn is promoting bicycling to lure young professionals to the city, County planner Gina Torres is worried about the high number of cars running into cyclists. It is embarrassing and it is al alarming. We want people to move here and businesses to come here. And if people are getting hurt, it's, it's just not, not good for business. Torres sees her county's biggest trouble spots as Hillsboro and Fletcher Avenue. But our records show Dale Mabry Highway and Waters Avenue had the region's third highest crash total in 2012 and was in the top 10 for injuries. Intersection crashes are problematic for law enforcement. Drivers need to make sure that you put down the distractions, pay attention to the signals. Along with getting drivers to focus on driving, Tora says she and other planners are redesigning roads where traffic tends to bottleneck. If you have the room, certain things like roundabouts, that actually does a lot of good things when it comes to the flow of traffic. US-19 has been elevated in Clearwater, reducing crashes at crossing roads. The state has similar plans farther north in Palm Harbor, where raising US-19 will cost almost $400 million. I'm Brendan McLaughlin, taking action for you.